Okay, so in this video we are looking at 6 divided by 2, 1 plus 2 and I'm sure you've seen this problem and this problem has taken over the internet seemingly. Um, and before I um, uh, begin to discuss this, I'm just going to say from my point of view it's nice that so many students uh, teachers, academics, university lecturers and you know, just people in general have been talking about this problem. It's good that people are talking about maths and um, we, we normally tend to see two answers for this. We normally see either 9 or 1 and this is what we are going to be settling today. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to to uh, do is I'm just going to see what the calculator say. If you just put this into a calculator, I'm just going to um, see what answer we get. Oh, Manchester United. Um, well, yes, um, as you can uh, tell by my London accent, I'm a, a, a proud and passionate supporter of my, my local team, Manchester United. Um, anyway, um, moving on. So uh, these people have just put in this, this, this question into these calculators. And importantly, we're getting a 1 on this calculator and 9 on that calculator. We're getting a 1 on this, 9 on that one. So we're getting a, a, a random 2 on this, don't understand that. Um, we're getting a 9 on this calculator, getting a, a 1 on this Casio, getting a 1 on this calculator, and we are getting a 1 on this graphical calculator. Um, got so Windows calculator and it's getting nine, and uh, we've got even MATLAB, which is a, a sophisticated uh, maths software, and the answer is saying nine. Okay, for good measure, I'm gonna try it myself on Google calculator. So I'm just gonna write this problem out. So six divided by two, one plus two equals 9. Interesting. Okay, I'm just going to try on my calculator as well. So 6 divided by 2, 1 plus 2, and we press equals. Okay, getting 1. I've got more calculators. Never be short on calculators. So 6 divided by 2, 1 plus 2 is equal to, and we're getting 9. So this is very interesting because think about this, when was the last time your calculators disagreed? Uh, so I'm going to be talking about conventions that most people um, use to solve this problem, literally the method that most people use to tackle this problem and um, it's mainly uh, one out of these two. Uh, in the UK people use something called Mass. This is the order of operations that we we are taught in our schools, and I'm just gonna uh, you know, I'm just gonna work this out using bot mass. So uh, the first thing we do is brackets. Um, so it's six divided by two, and it's obviously we're multiplying by one plus two, which is three, right? Um, this order stands for things like indices, and there are none. So uh, the next step says division. So it's 6 divided by 2, which is 3. Yeah, 6 divided by 2, which is 3, and we're times it by 3. And the last step is multiplication, and that gives us 9. Okay, um, um, PEMDAS, uh, I believe this is used in, uh, this is used in the USA. I believe this is, again, a uh, very common, commonly used. Again, same thing, it's just parentheses, which is uh, brackets. So it's 6 divided by 2 times 3, okay? There are no ex exponents, so uh, next is multiplication according to PEMDAS, so it's 6 divided by 2 times 3 is 6, okay? And then it's uh, division here, which is 6 divided by 6, which is 1. Okay, so um, interesting, again we are getting two answers. You're getting two answers, okay? Um, so just a, a, a word on conventions. Um, these are our conventions that we use. They seem slightly different, but they're not intended to be. And 
uh, just to let you know, in, in maths, division is multiplication. I know that sounds strange. Division is multiplication. Um, so the question really comes down to is, um, do we divide first or do we multiply first? Okay. And to know which one is right, we are, of course, we're going to have to dig deeper into this bad boy problem. And uh, again, just another word on conventions. Um, conventions, they change over time. You know, let's just be clear, the maths does not change. Okay. For example, um, a very long time ago, this, this division sign meant, um, you know, this, it just meant you divide everything on the left by everything on the right. So if you had this situation, which we obviously do, this a long time ago meant everything on that, on this side of the division sign divided by everything on the right side. So this would be 6 divided by 3 times 2, which is 6, and that would be equal to 1. However, um, we don't use this convention anymore. So we will not be considering, we will not be considering this uh, for our answer. And also, I just want you to, I just want to draw your attention to the fact that there is quite a, a common answer that a, a lot of people, a lot of people give. Um, just going back to the previous point that we know that division and multiplication are equal in ranking. They're equal. Uh, and that means one does not have precedence over the other. So what people, um, what a lot of people say is if you, um, if you have a situation where, obviously, again, I'm just going to go to that six divided by two times three. If you have a situation where you have uh, uh, two operations of the same precedence or the same ranking, you go from left to right. And if we do this, you know, we're getting six divided by two, which is three. Then we're times by three and we're getting nine. And this is a very common, um, uh, common scenario that a lot of people, a lot of people say. Um, what, what do I say about this? Um, well, I would say this creates a lot of ambiguity and a lot of ambiguous problems. What am I talking about? Um, if I just say, um, for example, if, if you have if you have something like this, x divided by four a. I think ninety. Oh, I'll just write that a properly. My goodness. Uh, I think ninety nine point nine percent of people would think this actually means x divided by four a. Okay. Um, However, if we if we look at this uh, this left to right scenario, it would say you know same precedence x divided by four times a. So you'd actually do x over four first, right? Left to right, then times it by a, um, and that would give you something like ax over four. Is that right? Hmm. Question mark. Indeed. Um, okay. I just want to ap apply this to our uh, situation. If I just go back to the original question, if I just if I just write that out, six divided by Two, one plus two, and if I just say one plus two is equal to a, and I'm just going to substitute this in. So here I can rewrite this as six divided by two a, and I know looking at it like this, a lot of people would see this as six divided by two a, and a is obviously one plus two is three, so that'd be six over six, and that is equal. To one, um, so this is uh, this is a uh, causes a lot of ambiguity. I can just give you more examples very quickly. If it's if you have something like four a divided by x, which one would you do first? And if you have a b divided by x y, I mean, is this a times b over x times y, or is it? A, B over X, Y. You know, it, it creates a lot, and you can, you can rewrite this in a number of different ways. Um, and this creates a lot of problems. This creates a lot of problems. In fact, uh, I can actually uh, show you uh, from Wikipedia. Um, if you just go to order of operations on Wikipedia, and um, this is fascinating stuff. I'm sure you guys will be enthralled by the content of this Wikipedia page. Anyway, I'm just going to scroll down to something uh, called exceptions. Um, and this is actually talking about this problem here, um, about ambiguity and the use um, of, of this division sign. 
uh, it, it gives you an example here. Um, I just want to draw your attention to the fact that it says, please note many academics consider PEMDAS as non-applicable in, in you know these sort of scenarios. Um, and the correct way to do it is obviously to use brackets. Um, so yeah, just a, um, an interesting thing that you could read. So going back, um, so, so this, this division sign is, is is not used or it's very very rarely used in high, higher mathematics because of this exact problem it creates ambiguity and confusion okay myself i use it very little in in higher math mainly just to sort of um if you have this sort of situation if you've got a half divided by a over three you know it's, it's just a very nice way of writing it you can, you can work it out pretty quickly um this would be the same as you know you turn you Turn that divide into multiplication, and you just write the second one upside down. Three over a, and you know you can solve these. Um, That's probably the only time. Um, you know, I actually um, looked through my higher level textbook just to, you know, see if I can find any examples of, of the usage of, of this sign. And just found in a very sort of in the very first chapters uh, where you're sort of it's a topic about simplification. Um, you know, I found an example. Um, however, the, the difference here is the way that this author used it in my textbook is he's used brackets. We know what's going on. We can very clearly understand what's going on. And you know, this is a basic example. Now, I can give you a, um, another, you know, another example. If I have something like this, if I have x squared, just write that. Divide sign properly. 3x minus 1. Yeah. And if I ask you to solve this um, indefinite integral, you know, this is going to confuse uh, confuse you because you know you don't know what's going on here, do you? And it, it's never written like this. You know, calculus students will jump at me and say, I've never seen it written like this. And there is good reason why you've never seen it written like this because it's always written in this sort of form and you know here you can go ahead and uh, try and solve this using various methods you have okay so we we don't use this in higher mathematics okay so if we want to um, dig deeper into the world of mathematics to help us get an idea of what this this problem is is is, is trying to tell us. Um, let's just look at how division is defined in higher level mathematics. So it's it's defined it's defined as uh, something called the multiplicative inverse. So um, the way it's defined is I'm just gonna I'm just gonna write it down. So it's just saying for all x in R or real, I'm just gonna exclude the zero for obvious reason. So for all x in R excluding zero, there exists um, an x to the power of minus one such that x times x to the power of minus one is equal to one. Um, and this is uh, uh, something that we're using in set theory and group theory. Um, the first thing that this shows is uh, division and multiplication are actually the same thing. So they actually don't have any ranking over each other. Um, but just very briefly, you know, what is this saying? Um, how does this work? So this is just basically saying if you have, you know, if you have any real number except for zero, let's say, um, I forget three. Let's say I, ch I choose a number two. It's saying two times something. There, there exists a number where if you have if two times something is equal to one, and obviously it's gonna be a half, and this applies for all numbers. It could be a hundred, hundred times one over hundred will always give you one. Important thing is this: this uh, this inverse exists. Um, so can we try and apply it to our scenario? I'm just going to write our question again: six divided by two one plus. Is there any way that we can try to? And I'm I'm, I'm using try in inverted brackets. Okay, you'll see why. Um, in this, so we can actually say that dividing by two is actually same as timesing by a half, right? So can we rewrite this with, with this sort of 
multiplicative inverse notation. Okay, I'm just going to try and do that. So it's 6 times, instead of divide by 2, it's times by 1 over 2. And it's times by 1 plus 2, right? Okay, and now we can try and solve this. So 6 times a half is, is 3. And 1 plus 2 is 3. And using this method, we're getting the answer as 9. Um, so is this the correct method using, you know, try or seemingly using this high level mathematics? Is this the correct answer? Well, we're getting closer, perhaps, but really it comes down to uh, this uh, statement here. Really comes down to the author's intention. What is the person that has, has written this? What is the author's intention? What are they trying to convey? And that is not clear. That is not clear. And in, it's still ambiguous. It's still ambiguous in, in, in my mind. So, what is my answer to this problem? 6 divided by 2. 1 plus 2 is equal to what is my answer is it 1 or 9 and this is what we've been waiting for my answer is this no solution that is my answer there is no solution this is the correct answer because and the reason is because there is ambiguity in the way this question has been written okay this problem does not appear in higher maths because we are not allowed to have ambiguous statements and this is what makes math such an interesting subject you know we're not allowed to make statements like this and this is why it's never seen in in higher maths you know so they there you have it my my final answer is there is no solution and that is the correct solution Okay, so thank you for watching. Um, remember to like and subscribe for more interesting maths videos. And I will see you on the next video.